Hey everybody, welcome back to Manna Made Simple and I'm Chef K Ford and today we are cooking it up in the kitchen. Look what we have for you today. It is meatless meatloaf. This meatless meatloaf is being made out of TVP. Well, what is TVP, you say? Well, TVP is textured vegetable protein. Take a look at it. TVP is a highly nutritious soy product. It's rich in complete protein and contains no fat. So it's an excellent meat alternative. All right. And it is made from defatted soy flour. Where do TVP come from? TVP is usually made from a high soy protein, 50% of it, soy flour or concentrate. But it can also be made from cottonseed, wheat, and oats. The nutritional value in TVP, an example is if you would take a fourth of a cup of TVP before it's rehydrated, it contains 80 calories, 0 grams of fat, 7 grams of carbohydrates, 12 grams of protein, and an excellent source of iron. That is excellent. That is great for a meat alternative and for your diet. TVP can be used for several recipes, sloppy joes, chili and boy you can make some delicious tacos with it also there's no limit using tvp now let's get into our recipe all right well once again you see this delicious goodness there's the tvp all right we have the water the tvp and you see what it looks like little granules all right and these are some of our worcestershire sauce and my all-purpose seasoning at the adobe and all uh, the freshness and i love working with fresh fresh ingredients as much as possible okay so we're gonna go ahead and get this recipe going all righty okay we're gonna go ahead and re reconstitute or rehydrate our tvp so we pour that in the pot. And the next thing we're gonna go ahead is add our water. And then I like to go ahead and flavor my TV, TVP up at this time. So I'm putting my beef um, in there, my beef seasoning. And then I'm using Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there to it. And there's another thing What you're gonna do is just go ahead and mix it up really well till it comes to a boil. It usually takes about, maybe about five minutes or so for it to rehydrate. Now, here go our ingredients and we're gonna go ahead and mix it up. So here you see our TVP, it's all done. And I have a little liquid in there. You might wanna, yeah, it's not that much in there so it's not gonna hurt. Look at that, don't it look just like ground beef? That's amazing. So let's go ahead and add our green onions to it. Fresh from the garden. Next we have some red bell pepper. Pretty. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our fresh garlic. Or you could use some, you know, the garlic powder, but I love fresh, fresh is best. Then, I put some celery in here. I just thought it add some good flavor to it. And then we're gonna add our chopped up tomatoes. Woohoo! Next, we have our breadcrumbs. breadcrumbs. And then our seasonings, our all-purpose seasoning. And I always use a little pepper, so I got some cayenne pepper right there. And then we have our flaxseed egg, okay? So you just go ahead and mix that in there. The recipe is gonna be in the, um, the link. It's gonna be in the box below. So stir it up, stir it up, mix it up really good. See that flaxseed egg? and those crackers or the breadcrumbs they're gonna all bind 
mind together. Just keep stirring it until it comes together really, really well. Oh, look at those colors. Aren't they beautiful? Red, green, light green. I just love it. All right, so it's coming together. The flaxseed is really making it work. And you know, sometimes if you need to, if you want it to be a little bit more firmer, you could add some flour to it if you like. It's all up to you. It's your party and you cry if you want to. Okay, see how it's looking? Oh, wow. That looks good. It's going to be good. Look at those flavors. You can't go wrong. Grease your dish. You put in a loaf dish. I chose to put in a round dish. It's up to you. Next, we want to just go ahead and put it in, place it in our dish. Look at that. Oh, my gracious. Isn't that amazing? And you, like I said, look at all those fresh ingredients. You know this can't be nothing but delicious, okay? All right, so go ahead and flatten it out really well level it level it okay it's looking good so now it's ready to go into the oven it's just profiling a little just before it goes into the oven I love taking pictures so I just wanted you to see look at all that goodness that's just amazing so now what we're gonna do is just put it in the oven Put it on 350 and let it cook for about 50 minutes to an hour, okay? If you want it firmer, cook it longer. While our meatloaf is cooking in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and make our ketchup glaze. And it's real simple, there you have it. We're gonna go ahead and pour our ketchup into the bowl. Pour it or kind of scoop it out rather. And then we're gonna add our honey to it. go our honey and all we're gonna do oops gotta get off that don't wanna leave nothing behind just stir it up just stir it up and voila it's that simple our meatloaf is ready it's we're gonna go ahead and pour our glaze on top And we'll just go ahead and just level it out. Just go ahead and glaze it up. Really good. And sometimes if you want more, you can make more. But this is just a light glaze. And if you want to do um, the brown gravy, you know, I take turns. It depends. We haven't had this in a while, so... I decided to do the ketchup glaze, which I like the ketchup more so than the brown gravy. But there it is, okay? So we're gonna get ready and put it in the oven once again for 10 minutes. So now that you're, you have the glaze on and it's in the oven, it's 10 minutes and it's done and voila, it is looking fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this baby up. Voila, wow. It turned out really good. So some of the sides you see that we have some garlic potatoes and some broccoli. But look at the star of this dish, that meatloaf. Oh my gracious. You know that's going to be good to eat. Your family is going to be happy. So once again, good job. All right, go ahead, try it. You're gonna love it. Another meat alternative, plant-based, vegan, meatless meatloaf, using TVP. Wow, let me know what you think. Enjoy!